Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and water today, or as I call it, not coffee. But I need more hydration. I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today, but I first wanted to show you a book that Sarah, my niece, got me. Um, this is a real, there's a big book. This is just a little Christmas story of it, and it's from Gwen Cooper. It's Homer and the Holiday Miracle. And Homer is a blind cat. And it's a cute little story, and I'm gonna read it Christmas Eve. We have decided we're gonna be like from Iceland. And they have a, tra I think it's Iceland, they have a tradition where they gift each other a book and chocolate and they spend Christmas Eve reading and eating chocolate. And that just sounds fantastic to me. So the, here's my first read. I have another book, but this is my first read on Christmas Eve. Okay. I also have Miss Luna today. Yes, I do. Can you say hi? Luna came to visit. Can you say hi? Yes. Um, while her mama is off having fun. Luna's here having fun with us. All right, go see them kitties. Okay. I know. So we'll be a little distracted, but not too terribly bad. All right, Dollar Tree haul. I've got a pretty decent sized one here I wanted to share with you. But first, Sarah picked up these for me. I definitely need to make a garland of some sort since I have a fair amount of these little gnomes. And she also picked up for me the little lights. I know, how cute are those? Um, also, I got at my Dollar Tree, they're really stepping up their game this year. This is the motion censored ornament. I got the elf, but look how cute that is in there. They had Santa and snowman and stuff. So I think this would be super fun to put in like a bathroom and when somebody comes in, it starts singing to them. So I have that that I picked up. We have, uh, everything is in bags, guys. No particular order. I did get this Christmas tin and it says Christmas with my gnomies. I love it. And on the side, you have all the gnomes. I don't need a Christmas tin, but I wanted a Christmas tin. So how about that? So I got Christmas with my gnomies. All right, we got stuff. Oh, in here, I was walking down the drink aisle and they have Jelly Belly brand orange sherbet, zero sugar, zero carb for the whole can, and it's sparkling water. I thought that would be so fun. I'm going to bring it. So tomorrow, today's Friday, Black Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday and I'm going to my cousin's house and we're going to watch the football game, the Buckeyes. So I'll bring that to half. Um, I picked up, and we're gonna open these and look at them, but I picked up the Cardinal little planter. Um, I wanna do some starters of some plants. And I thought, oh, this would be perfect. That is adorable, guys. And I'm gonna start a little um, Christmas cactus in here because they take a while. So this is a Cardinal. So I grabbed that because I thought that was adorable. And then I grabbed the polar bear. They also have, I want to say a river otter and something else. I don't remember, but we like polar bears in our family. And I thought, oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? And that, again, I'm going to start a Christmas cactus in this. So it's my mom's Christmas cactus that she bought. And so... My whole family wants a cuttings of it, and it's doing really well. So I will do some starters in these. Because it's super easy. If you want to see a video, I mean, it's really easy. And then, you know, my issue I have with buying these glass containers. This is from Anchor Hawking, name brand, also made here in Ohio. It's an apothecary jar. It's what it's called. And I don't know if I can get this plastic off, but it's, the, it's glass. Listen. It seals itself with glass, so it's not airtight. But I love this, and I thought this would be fantastic to fill with some fun spices or something that I use regularly. So I grabbed just one because I thought that was fun. So we'll put that for the kitchen. And the plants will stay down here. The planters. Next up. Next up. Oh, 
Um, I grabbed a three pack of Elmer school glue and you'll see why in a minute, but I needed to have these to give to, um, so I'm going tomorrow to the game at my cousin's and I guess she would be our second cousin had a baby and she has a little boy. I think he's three or four. And so I have some stuff in here for him, but I wanted to send some glue to do some of the craft kits I got for him. So I grabbed some glue. And then for Sarah, this is for her stocking. It's a six count of pink sparkle lights, string lights. And they just take batteries. Uh, it's 2.9 feet for indoor use only requires two AA batteries. So I'll get her some batteries, but she loves pink. So this is just a fun little stocking stuffer for Sarah. Uh, this is for me, just some cooking spray. Not exciting. Uh, for my sister-in-law to go with her beach bag, I got her this book. It's Reagan Rising, The Decisive Years, 1976 to 1980. And it talks about, um, it's an insightful look at one of the most significant periods in modern American history. Candidate Reagan's political defeats shaped President Reagan's views on Washington. So it's about his rise to the presidency and she is a fan. Um, yeah, so I bought it for her and it was one shiny dollar. And when it was new at the store, it was $29.99 and she will enjoy this. And here's the thing about books like these, fan or not of any president or political party, it's history and learning and reading up on history is always, I think, a beneficial thing. And even if it is, you know, not your cup of tea, she will enjoy it. So I got that for her, for her beach reads. And then I picked, oh, here's one of the things I picked up and it's uh, Mary and Joseph and it's, I believe it's like the crash or the advent of the little finger puppets. It's the religious ones. So there's Mary and the bait and Jesus with Joseph and the three, two of the three Kings and an angel and the little finger puppets. So I'll put these things and I have a couple more sets like that and I'll put them in the bag with some other things I'll show you. Oh, tissue paper. I don't need more tissue paper, but I'm really impressed this year with the wrappings that they're putting out the Dollar Tree. So I'm grabbing some for next year because really for the price, it's fantastic. But can we look at this dollar, this, the Santa hats? I love it. And then the red tissue and you get 10 sheets and I think it's five of each. But I think this is fantastic. And what if they don't come out with this next year? So I grabbed one of those and I probably won't even open it this year. And then look at these rainbow snowflakes. I think that is so fun. And it also comes with the red and you get 10 sheets in here. So, I mean, that's not a bad deal for decorative tissue paper. And when I do gift package wrapping, I do enjoy using um, printed paper, but I feel like I have some out right now. So these will probably be saved in my Christmas package wrapping because I got rid of a lot of old yucky stuff. So there's that. Um, I found finally the Vaseline all-purpose cream. And I also bought O'Keefe's. Hi. I bought O'Keefe's at Target. They had a three pack. It was um, dry cracked hands, dry cracked feet, and dry cracked body lotion. Three tubes, three ounce tubes for like $7. I thought that was really good. And I'm using it on my hands and feet and it's feeling really good. Uh, but then I picked up this as well for my dry hands because I thought, you know, I could also put this on my face. I'm so, I am very dry. Like I have very dry skin. So putting this on my face before bed would not be a harmful thing. And this is a Unilever product. I don't know how many ounces this is. This doesn't tell me. 1.4 ounce. So not bad. I just got the one because I did buy the Dollar Tree brand or the Dermasil brand, which is working fine. Guys, I put so much moisturizer on my body in the winter, but I wanted to try the Vaseline. Now, here's another fun little set that I purchased, and I grabbed two of these. But this is the set, and one is a gift, or gonna go with a gift. And it is, the brand on these is uh, Be Pure. I don't, it is a, 
um, Four Star Group. I don't know if that's a Dollar Tree brand or not, so I'm not sure if everybody will get it. But this is Pillow Mist, and it's in Lavender Chamomile, and it's all for relaxation. Oh, that smells good, and I love a pillow spray. I absolutely love misting my pillow and then getting in bed. Um, so this is Lavender Chamomile, and it's the mist for your bed. And then this is moisturizer to put on before bed to help you relax. And this is also two fluid ounces. And then these are eye gel pads. And I think you just get one set in here. For restful looking eye, yeah, one set. So I thought this was for $3. This is an adorable little stocking set to put together for anybody. I feel like anybody would enjoy this. The packaging is spot on and I love it. So I grabbed two sets. Um, oops, sorry, Luna. One for me and one to gift. And that's all in that bag. Oh, I should put all the stocking stuff together, guys. What do you think? Now, how are you coming along with your Christmas shopping? If you even celebrate the season. I personally am done, except for stocking stuff and then any little extra gifts I come across for people. But if Christmas was tomorrow, I'd have a few things to wrap and then I'm done. Um, okay, finally, finally my store got these in stock. I feel like everybody got these last summer, but we finally got these and they are a light bulb terrarium. And I am almost thinking I'm gonna put a real air plant in here and hang it somewhere in my house. Ma'am, that's not yours. That's not hers. We're, here, take this. This is stocking. Um, but you can put fake plants in here or real ones and hang them up. But you can totally put, um, where'd you put it? A real air plant. I don't know where she put it. A real air plant in here or fake or do whatever you want. But I grabbed two because I, I was shocked when I saw them. Um, oh, so then I also picked up this Spirograph because I'm gonna try it out. I'm telling you, they are getting all these toys that are in from when I was a child. These are toys I played with, a lot of this stuff. There's this and then Hello, I had the Play-Doh hair salon growing up with the fake scissors. What? And it comes with really soft clay. Oh yeah, I sure did buy these for me. I just open them up and then give them away. But uh, Spirograph, I need that in my life. And then the little Play-Doh lady. And they only had in my stores the girl. Um, for what? It, take that for what it's worth. However, the elves that I saw, you know, this elves that they sell at the Dollar Tree, I don't think it's a specific one, but these elves, today at my store, they had them in people of color. They had them in different skin tones, and I thought that was fantastic. I was so happy to see that at my store. I just love seeing inclusive products everywhere because you know what? Not every child is the same, and kids deserve to have toys that look like them. That's my theory and my that's how I feel about it. Take it for what that's worth. It just makes me happy to see. Okay, now, for stocking stuffer for Sarah, this is also the Be Pure brand, and I got her some blemish strips, some blemish dots, patches, patches. And you get 24 in here, and she gets, she's got a whole different skin tone and skin consistency. She's got more oily skin than I do, so she gets more blemishes, and she likes uh, pimple blemish patches so I grabbed a box for her just to throw in her stocking because she'll like that because who wouldn't like that guys um I picked up two of these now these are quick survive files fire starters lights any fire fast uh burns for 10 minutes and I'm going to open this and show you I this is the second package I bought for these um I originally bought them thinking I would take them backpacking which I would, they're not heavy at all. But then um, I forgot them when I went. Thank goodness my friend Jen remembered her fire starting stuff. Also, we take stuff instead of like this, if I was going backpacking, you can take a cotton swab and put it in Vaseline and that's a great fire starter. This is not for you, ma'am. But this is what they look like. 
and I'm assuming it's some kind of chemical and you just light this whole thing on fire. But you know what I've been using them for? When my fire, when I'm lighting just wood without a log and I need help getting my wood started, I have been using these fire starters in my fireplace. So I grabbed two more packs because I didn't see many and I don't need them a lot, but I think this will get me through the winter time, which is fine. Um, but they're great, especially if you go camping or you can start your barbecue grill with them and you wouldn't have to use, um, so lighter fluid. I don't use lighter fluid on my grill. I have a chimney, but I could put this at the bottom of my chimney instead of paper and it would light the charcoal briquettes. So this is all, like, these are great. I enjoy them immensely. So I will put those with my fireplace. Um, for my little friend Levi, I thought this cup would be fun for him. And it's just a little, you know, a little sippy cup. But look on the inside, which is super fun. I just think he will enjoy this little cup. And if it's if not, it's okay. But I thought for Christmas, and they just... Um, his mommy just had a baby, and so they won't be getting out much, I'm assuming, around this time of year. So I thought I would just send him some little things he can do on today, like a snowy afternoon, and have some crafty stuff to do with his mom or dad. So I grabbed him a little cup. They can make him a fun little drink. And I wanted to share with you guys. So some of his toys will probably end up going with him. All right, did I have all that done? Yes. Um, my store finally got these signs. I just got the one that says believe and I may paint it. I may not. I'm really feeling like I would love this front to be black and back here to be a different color. So we'll see if I decide to try to pop it apart or if I just leave it for now and maybe work on it next year because I'm already decorated for Christmas as you can see. So we'll see. But I liked this one. They had believe. They had peace. I mean, that's all my store had, but I feel like there was other. And if you want to just put a different color card stock on the back, you can get any kind of construction paper or paper you like and cover that up. You just have to get probably a scraper tool in there and separate or maybe get your heat gun out, which I don't have one and I need one. So I'm thinking about buying a heat gun after the holidays because I don't have one. I finally found the snowman soap dispenser for my bathroom down here my come here Luna my mint bathroom um where's her toy I don't know where it is so sweetie for my bathroom now here's what I did for my kitchen I took the gingerbread man and I swapped out the soap I put the soap that came in the gingerbread man and put it in a different container and I washed it out and I filled my gingerbread man with my kitchen soap my dishwashing soap and I love it so I thought this would be perfect for my bathroom. And the smell is Mary Berry scent. So I will, a fun fact, I'm a, I much prefer foaming hand soap. Ooh, that smells good. And I know you can just mix this with water and put it in a foamer, but I'll use this. And it smells delicious. And this will stay all winter, which is fantastic as well. And I finally found it. So I got all four of the different dispensers this year, which makes me happy because I really like the aesthetic of these and how they're kind of see-through and they're not overly painted. I enjoy that. And you, the, you know, the color of the soap shines through. Um, personal preference. I would love it if the red went all the way around, but you know, what are you gonna do? They're a dollar. Let's not complain, okay? Okay. Now, we also have over here, what did I find? Oh. I got a new tablecloth. I got this one. So Sarah and I, I think I told you we're going to a Christmas cabin this year. And so I grabbed the tablecloth. I don't know what size the table is going to be where we're at, but we will be having people over. And so I figured this is large enough. It's a 52 by 70. I'll just pack a pair of scissors if I need to cut it down or fold it in half or something. But I really like the retro feel of this with the holly berries and the holly leaves and this the white. And we'll put it down and probably leave it for the whole time we're there just to help keep things organized and tidy. And the same thing for this gnome for the holidays. I will pre-cut a lot of my meats and salamis and cheeses for the time we're there. And I will put them in this and just put this whole thing in the refrigerator. And I'll put them in like most likely in individual bags so they don't make each other taste funky. 
but like a little zip bags and then I will store them in here in the fridge and it just makes everything so much easier when you pre-prep all of your foods. So that'll be for me to take for my stuff because she, so Sarah's a vegetarian and does not do a lot of dairy and I am as far from a vegetarian as you can get and I eat a lot of dairy, so there's that. Um, for springtime, I bought a little bird's nest. I thought this would be super fun to paint to put somewhere. I just love them and I love bird's nests for springtime. And now is the time to pick up things like this because they're putting them out. And I will tell you, it is Black Friday. I went to my stores and I was pretty surprised at the new stuff I found. Like a lot of this stuff I found today. My stores hadn't been really stocked, so I was happy for that. Now, last thing I got in this bag is I got some gingerbread kits. Um, I want to put these in my kitchen, my gingerbread kitchen. And if I don't use both kits, then I will pass the other one along to my little friend Levi. But I want to see, so you get in here five gingerbread kits individually. I'll show you because I will be doing one of these to put up as a decoration. So this is what they look like when you get them. So if you had a bunch of kids over, these are perfect. You open it up. But every kit is divided into its own um, own little thing. Now, why they stamped Greenbrier on the back of all these is beyond me. And then you have felt. But what I wanted, okay, this is exciting. So the felt is pre-cut to make the white, to put, you know, the white on, the green, the red, the black. It's all pre-cut. And you even get a little string to hang them. So everything in here, all you would need is glue. So probably while watching TV tonight, I will put together these little gingerbreads, or if I'm being truthful, I may get out some fabric paint and just paint the white on them. But I will, I want to put them in the, um, I think if they'll fit inside of the gumball machine that I got from the Target spot the glass one I'm thinking these will fit in there and look cute lined up just around the glass and then I'll put some like snowballs or something behind behind them to make them stay so we'll see what happens with that kit but I thought that's fantastic and I need that in my life uh, what else did I find okay more stuff oh these again for next year because I'm so impressed with the bags this year so I love this bag and it says joy to the world and it's just green and black buffalo check plaid whatever you want to call it but it's a whole there's a whole series so you get the joy to the world and then it says merry and bright again the green and the buffalo check and on the sides you have the black buffalo check and then the fake shiplap and the front is silver and metallic and the back is black. And on this one, the front is gold and there's no gold on the black. So then you get this bag to go with this. And then in the red and black Buffalo check, you have, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And on these sides, just this plain black, the front has the brass or gold metallic and the back is just plain. And these are such nice quality and it is the Voila brand, so it's their, in-house brand and then another black and white one with farm fresh christmas trees which i love and i really think that this uh, may happen that i cut out this sign and glue it to something because i love the sign i love the little splash of metal with it put it on a wooden sign that would be so perfect so i grabbed four bags and this is i don't need any more bags this year but i did grab these four and like I said before, if I don't use them this year, I will happily use them next year. So I'm not worried about that. I'm pulling out stuff. Oh, guys, I'm so excited about these things. Hold on. Please hold. I have more junk in here. Um, I found, finally, again, my store's finally getting stuff I've seen at other stores. But this is the metal sign, but it's the mason jar. And for springtime, I cannot wait to do something with this. But like uh, these things that I'm buying now are going to be for spring decorating. I could do something for Christmas, but I have enough for right this time of year. And so I want to hold off on these and do something 
for summer or spring and I love these metal signs and so I found one of these it's all they had at my store so that'll go upstairs into my spring decor stuff then I found blow up decor for our Christmas cabin what the heck it is a penguin a snowman they have a Santa and a reindeer. I saw these at one of my stores. And these are a part of the Christmas house. And you, they even come with a little straw and you just blow them up. And I'll probably tape them somewhere because I need these in my life when I have our Christmas time. So, I got these. I love them, guys. I'm so excited for these. Oh, and there's tape involved. I don't know. There's directions. But in the package, it looks like there's some tape strip and there's a straw and then you blow this up. So how fun is that? And from last year, I also have Merry Christmas that I'll probably bring so we can decorate the table, which I thought was super fun. Now for Miss Luna, who I'm gonna give her one right now. Come here, Luna. I got these. She loves these Denta, Denta Life sticks. So I got one for her. We ran, I mean, her mother sends, okay, honey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, her mom sends treats for her, but Aunt Lori's treats are better because, you know, they're Aunt Lori's treats. Okay. We got some more stuff here. Let me see what I got. Oh, I grabbed some new, um, this is fake nail glue. I wear press-ons, but this set for some reason, and I blended two sets together, kept popping off. So I'm like, I need some nail glue so I can just pop them back on. So I grabbed some nail glue, nothing exciting. And this is brush on, which I was not looking for brush on. I was looking for like, I could drip down in there, but whatever it takes, I grabbed some nail glue. Not a, nothing exciting to see there. But on the exciting front, I found these little tippies. And they are Snoopy. I found them all, but I don't need them all. But I did get Snoopy and Lucy. I think that's Lucy. But they had Linus and Pigpen and Peppermint Patty and Sally and Snoopy and um, the bird. And a couple Snoopies. Actually, they had three Snoopies. Oh, this one has... Oh, no, it doesn't. This is plain Snoopy, but they have four different Snoopies. So I grab these and they're like weebles. They wobble, but they don't fall down. I'm telling you, they're bringing back all the stuff from when I was a kid. This is crazy. Um, I also found the little mini spatula sets. I grabbed two because I need one and Sarah probably needs one. And they are flipping adorable. And I'm going to tell you right now, I use these little mini spatulas a lot, cooking and stuff. Obviously, these are the Christmas ones, but I don't care. I grabbed two. I was so excited to have found them. So I grabbed those. Hi, hi, ma'am. Get down. Thank you. Okay. Now, you will have seen or ha maybe you have seen, maybe you didn't watch it. I don't know. But I have a review coming out this weekend on a laser cutter that I was sent. And I want to try to write, I got some of this basswood to practice on. So you're seeing this in reverse. Well, you're seeing it in the right order, but I'm recording in the reverse order because I needed to show you the stuff before I use it. But this is basswood, I think, and it's pretty thin. And I want to write on here and with the laser engraver. So I grabbed one of those. I have some other things upstairs to practice on, but oh my God. Okay, and the last, but certainly not the least, I picked up some books for Levi and for some other children. But look at these little books, guys. First of all, these are the, ma this one's the Magical Snow Globe and they come with stickers on the front that are puffy stickers and regular stickers on the back. But inside, and I think all the books on the inside are the same, it's an activity book for little people. Tic-tac-toe and word searches and I don't know what that is. Oh, um, 
Cross out the H's, R's, and T's to find the answer. They're just little people puzzles. Like how fun are these? And they're little activity books. So this is the magical snow globe and it's like um, unicorn and mermaid theme with the stickers, but I'm pretty sure all the pages, well, no, these pages are pink. Okay, so the pages and the pictures are not the same. So tic-tac-toe. And then this one is just Happy Holiday, and it's in blue. And this one has, I'm sure they're the same games, but different. Oh, well, maybe not. Don't even listen to me. And then this one is Gnomes and Friends with the little gnomes. So I thought these were going to be super fun. One for Levi, and then I'll send uh, two home for Sarah. Her coworker has some littles that will enjoy, I think, sitting down and playing with these. And these are Greenbrier brands, so you all should be able to find those easily enough. Now, these are not a Greenbrier brand, and this is the last thing I found, and these are for Levi. And this book here is regularly $12.99. It's Willow Creek Press. And the book is called Maury Moose's Time Traveling Outhouse Adventure. Oh, how fun. And they're just storybooks for littles, you know? And who doesn't love a good book to read? So I grabbed this one. And this is a totally made up book award winner. No book award, but it's nice. And there's lots of good pictures and there's toilet paper involved. And what isn't fun about an outhouse? So I grabbed that one. And then this one is, Aubrey, Alberry, Alberry Books. I don't know what the brand is. I don't know what the price was, but it's Cheeky Charlie. And it's a book about animals. Charlie prances around the jungle giving cheek to everyone he meets. But can he see the funny side when he catches a glimpse of his own backside? And it's his cheeks. Oh, how cute. So this is another book with great illustration for that and then I got a rumpus in the night and this is also Aubrey books and it says Jamie wakes suddenly from a very scary monster dream to find a little monster has come back from his dream and into his bedroom this new creation from the magical pen of Nick Ward proves to be an adorably naughty nighttime tale and again fantastic illustrations and I mean, just fun little books to read. And then this one excites me to no end. Um, it's a Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. And it is Jack Frost versus the Abominable Snowman. And you pick your adventure. So when you're reading it with your child, you pick the adventure you want to take. So it can be more than one story at a time. And I think this is fantastic. I don't know what the price, oh, it was $17.99. And I got it for $1 and I know little Levi will love this. And I think it's super fun. Source Books Wonderland, welcome to Winter Wonderland. So I grabbed him uh, these books to have pre-Christmas and some craft kits and I will send them off and hopefully he will enjoy them. Oh. All right, guys, that is everything I got today at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving, and we're ready to start the Christmas season. Although I've already started a long time ago. Hi, dog. There's Alex. He says, hey, and come here. And Miss Luna, her says, hello, too. And she says, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful time. And we will talk with you later. Bye.